is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and I'm a soon-to-be physician assistant student. So the PA program that I'm attending requires us to partake in a summer academy. Essentially, we're going to be taking courses that provide us with an overview over basic physiology concepts. We're also going to be taking medical terminology course, cardio, neuro, and much more. I thought I would share with you all how I study and I'm also going to be going over some general tips over note taking that have helped me throughout my undergrad. So the first thing that I always suggest is to have a clean space or work area. don't like to have too many things here just because I get really distracted and I always have one pen and I choose like a highlighter and like another little pen and I'll usually keep a common theme but you don't really need to do that. So I always just have three things and my notebook and then what's cool about this notebook, this is a tool notebook, so what's cool about it, it's like a ring and then you can just take out paper like that and then you can put it back in and you can also like just use regular printer paper and then hole punch it and put it inside here. It's kind of like a binder but it's a notebook so it's a hybrid. I really like it. And I recommend it, but you don't have to also buy that either. And I never switch pens while I'm taking notes. This stuff is just for the end to make it pretty, but I don't really like to write my notes and then switch and then put the cap back on, all of that. It's a waste of time in my opinion. So I'll just start with a header. And today I think, or right now, I'm gonna be going over medical terminology. It is gonna count as 7% of our grade for one of my courses in the fall. So I think this one's the most important one. And I've never taken med term, so I'm not really that good at it. Something that I like to use while taking notes is having a heading and then a subheading, sub subheading, I don't really know what you call them anymore after that. But I like to use an arrow, an open bullet point, and then like a closed bullet point, and then I'll do a triangle. And my brain just works in steps like that, so it's really helpful for me to just like see like, okay, basic overview, and then useful prefixes and suffixes, and then I go down the list like that. And I also like to divide my notes into two columns. It's easier for my brain to just read smaller sections and I won't get as distracted just going down like this as opposed to going all the way from side to side. Like that to me is just too much work. So I'll just go and write my notes straight down this way. completely writing all of my notes I typically will just go back to them the next day or right after I will grab my colored highlighter and pen and I will highlight things that I think are important or I'll mark a star or I'll just add an example to what it is that way I am constantly recalling the information and that way when I have a quiz I will just have everything ready or the test and I will just review my notes once more. 
um, that's really it you guys. It's nothing too crazy. I don't like to do too many things because then you get lost into writing pretty notes and then you're not effectively writing notes. You're just, again, getting lost in trying to write pretty notes and you won't really focus on the material as much as you are focusing on how you're writing the notes and that's not always good. I definitely struggle with that because I always want my notes to look super nice, but then at the same time, there's so many things that I want to write down. I don't have time for it all. So I'm trying to get better at writing my notes. I'm not perfect at it. So if you have any suggestions of ways that you have improved your note-taking skills, then please let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye!